I'm working on a Linux L series unit today and I'm just happen to be here doing something else and I'm just walking through their air conditioners making sure that there's no problems so the first thing I'm doing is walking up this is like the M18 board or M17 board M17 I'm walking up and it has a recall feature on this old one so I'm gonna flip the recall dip switch see what code comes up code 82 and if you press the button it'll show you the last code after that code 82 push it again code 82 so code 82 keeps coming up I'm gonna go over here and look it just says 82 main board reset or power outage has occurred that's not anything to be concerned about so when I'm all done I'm gonna hold down the black button until the zero appears. I just cleared the error codes. So that way, if myself or the next guy comes back here next week and flips on the error codes, they don't see the old codes. They see everything that's new. So whenever I'm doing that, I always erase the error codes once I'm sure there's no problems. The other thing I'm gonna do is this unit's not running right now, but condenser fan motors are a big thing that fail all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass the condenser fan motors just to verify if they're working. These older units have the relays that leave, makes it able for that to happen. So I'm just going to the other terminal so that way it forces on all the condenser fan motors as a preventative measure. Then I can verify if they're working, which they are all working now. So that's a quick little way to check the condenser fan motors. Then if one of them didn't start, I could, uh, you know, let the restaurant know and then get back out here and replace it. Kind of a preventative maintenance thing. I just happen to be here and I'm way out in the boonies, so I'm just checking them just to make sure there's no problems. That's all, just a quick tip.